Welcome back to John's Films. Have you ever been working in DaVinci Resolve and wanted some lower thirds, but come into the titles and thought, I know there's better than this? Then maybe you jumped out on the interwebs and you googled, I don't know, free DaVinci Resolve lower thirds? Easy to use. These are a lot of the same ones. Motion array. And this is what you get. You get a lot of talented people out there that will release one but it's difficult to use and an entry into paying for the rest of them. Well, today's a good day for you then, because over at Gargoyles, at work on YouTube, right here, my friend Saad Shah has released his new Avalon Lower Thirds pack. Now, Avalon is a collection of 20 highly customizable Lower Thirds that you can use in any project you want. The best part about this, he's also included the files so that we can see how he created them. Even when you pay for them, you don't get that. So let's go check out exactly what he's done and what we need to do to install them. First thing we need to do is go over to his Google Drive link, which is linked below, and download the Avalon titles. This downloads a zip file that we're going to use. But the first thing we need to do is close DaVinci Resolve because we're going to install the Avalon titles into a work directory that it will read on startup. You'll notice I just opened up the readme file that came with Gargoyles at Works work. And there's a couple of prereqs that we need to go through to get this installed, hence the video. First thing we need to do is install these two font families at Google. Let's check out how to do that. Go to fonts.google.com, and now we're going to search Mont, and the Montserrat family is what we want. We can download that by clicking Download Family. It opens up into an extraction file here. All I need to do is double click on each of these fonts that are in here and click install. That will automatically install the font for use across all of Windows and then I can close this window and move on to the next one. So let's get all of those done. For the next font family I'm doing much the same. I'll come back and search for Bebas. Bebas, Bebas, there we go. And what I like about this one is it's only one font. So double click that one, click install, and I'm ready to move on to the next step. Closing all my font business because I'm done with that. I now want to open up Avalon again, make sure that I've got the edit titles folder open. So now with my Windows Explorer, I'm going to hit Control N or Command N on Finder in Mac and it creates another window for me. This location bar, notice my username right here, John D. Keep that in your mind real quick. I clear out the location bar and I go back to Saadi's README file. It gives me the location I want to install these. So I'll copy that location out and I'll paste it into my location bar, scrolling back and being sure to change your name to whatever it was your username there. And now you'll see I copy the setting files into this directory. You can see they're here. And make sure again that it's for your user. That's it. It's all installed. Wait, so what can we do with it now? Well, let's open up Resolve again and check it out. Here we are in the project I previously had loaded. Now, if I click the effects library here on my edit page, and I scroll down, all of a sudden I have 20 new titles called Avalon that I can drag and drop over the top of any of my footage. And now I have a lower thirds title I can use. Something funny for my computer is that this Montserrat font doesn't work right off the bat. So I change the font and then change it back and everything seems to work just fine. Now. You'll notice here, we actually do have, and if I take it over the darker footage here, 
you can see that I've got a lower thirds, which is now completely animated and looks really professional, really clean, great for corporate work. I intend to use it in my day job. But here with the background, I've got a challenge. Well, Sadi thought of that and gave us the ability to customize the colors, which is really helpful. But let's say that we want to customize more. Well, you can pick any of these. Go back to your Avalon zip file that we downloaded. And inside here, you have comp files. So the one that I just used back over here was Avalon 2. So if I want to, I can take Avalon 2 and open it up. And these comp files, here's how you would use these. These are general text files that he's included here. Copy the text out of them. Go into Fusion. Go into Fusion with the Fusion clip under your playhead. And you can paste that text directly into Fusion and see exactly how Saudi built the lower thirds. This is an amazing resource for education. It's something that, sure, it's nice to be able to come in and customize, but if you want to learn how to build professional-looking titles, this is the best way to go about it. So a big shout-out to Saudi. Great work here. Thank you for sharing this knowledge. This is fantastic. I can throw any of these up onto my screens and know exactly what happens. You can see the mask you've built so that it uh, reveals the work that's going on. Th this is just cool. Thank you very much. And we've got 20 different titles that we can use. Some of them have a couple variations, which is cool. And it's amazing. I can come in, drag and drop them, and I've got fantastic lower thirds I can use with a license to use them anywhere, even commercial work. So that's it. Three easy steps. Double-click to install the fonts at fonts.google.com. Drag and drop the setting files into the directory specified in the README. And finally, open up and start clicking because you can drag and drop these things right over the top of your footage. Thank you, Sadi, for sharing these. Everybody, please head over to Gargoyles at work and check them out. Again, free lower thirds for Resolve. These things don't happen very often. Go jump on them. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Helps other people find this video. And have a great day.